Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel and to this week's video. I want to read to you a message uh, I got uh, through one of our social media platforms and it's the message that inspired the content of today's video and that's why I want to read it to you quickly. So the message goes, hi, I need to know, let's say I have a will, then I pass on. My remaining family on the will must pay the executors. Why on the will week we are not told that information? Now guys, Firstly, I want to say thank you for following us on social media and thank you uh, for the follower for the question. Now, we have, of course, already responded, uh, but we decided to do this video nonetheless because the message raises the important question of who pays for your estate when you die, guys. Now, firstly, recognize that when we die, leaving an estate or leaving a will, our estate needs to be reported to the master of the high court and the master will open up a file and the master will appoint an executor who needs to take certain steps to make sure that the estate is properly wound up. Now, these uh, steps are largely set out uh, in an act called the Administration of the Seized Estates Act. And what we'll do is we'll put a link in the description uh, below uh, to, a, uh, to a copy of the act so that in your own time, you can go through the act and you can see what these steps are that forms part of the estate administration process. Now, for today's video, uh, we want to remind or uh, alert the viewer to the fact that as part of this process that the executor needs to take to wind up the estate, there are certain costs that will become payable. And when we talk about these costs that become payable as part of this process, we are not for the moment referring to the other estate liabilities such as perhaps uh, outstanding accounts that the deceased may have had or outstanding um, loans perhaps with banks um, or even the outstanding uh, tax liabilities that the deceased, uh, that the deceased may have. Uh, those things are also important and it's important that there's a, a plan in place to cover and deal with those things. Otherwise the estate might be an insolvent estate and then there's other things that come into play. And maybe in due course, we'll do a video on those issues. But for the purpose of today's video, uh, the question relates to who pays for these costs associated with the administration process. Now, what are these costs? These costs are things like uh, the master's fee. Uh, it includes things like uh, the costs of uh, placing the advertisements in the government gazette or the local newspaper where the deceased was resident. Uh, it also includes, importantly, as our social media following uh, follower uh, was referring to the uh, executor's remuneration. Uh, remember, the executor is entitled by law to a fee of up to 3.5% of the value of the estate. That's the maximum the law allows for. And to give you an idea, on a million rand estate, that translates to 35,000 rand. And the other uh, example I wanted to refer to as part of these uh, costs is uh, the example where immovable property needs to be transferred out of the estate to beneficiaries. Uh, let's say, for example, there was a will and the will say, uh, says that um, my uh, holiday house in Saldana must go to my eldest son. Now, obviously, uh, in order to give effect to that, the conveyance, the executor will have to appoint a conveyancer uh, who must do that transfer. And the conveyancer will have a fee uh, for the transfer and on a million rand transfer, to give you an idea, uh, currently the, the tariff allows for a conveyancing fee of about 23,000 rand. So these are some examples of these costs we are referring to, guys. And so the question becomes, who has to pay for them? Now, the position is that ideally, of course, your estate uh, is liquid enough or there is enough uh, cash reserves in the estate to be able to pay for these costs. If there is not uh, a sufficient liquidity in the estate to cover these costs, then the situation may arise where the executor may have to sell certain assets so as to come up with the cash to pay for these costs or the uh, remaining family members and those who have an interest in seeing that the estate does indeed get uh, finally wound up 
uh, they will need to pay in uh, money to the estate uh, so that there is enough money and funds available to pay for these costs. And that's how uh, that is meant to play out, guys. Now, I hope you have found some value in that and I hope you have found the information useful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you back here next week. And until then, take care and cheers for now.